Hi guys, so I was going to do a house build, but I could not figure out what kind of house I wanted to build. So I thought it'd be super cute if I just did a small little coffee shop. Um, it's not technically a coffee shop. If you're going to put this into your game, it is a hangout because the coffee shop is a rabbit hole place. So I just wanted somewhere we could actually go in and like order some food and sit down and hang out. So that's what I went for. Um, right now I'm just trying to figure out the outside and you probably noticed to the left I did put a subway um, thing, <laughs> whatever it's called, um, over there. So you can get off the subway and like come here and get some coffee or whatever and go to work or just hang out here for the day and get some work done here. So right now I'm just messing around with like the doors and the windows and I just go with super big windows. <laughs> because I don't know it just seemed like a coffee house kind of thing and then I go on the inside and of course I do wood again because I'm always using wood but this time I do mess around with it and make it a little bit darker and you would see it on the user panel but I forgot to turn the user panel on so it is off for now and then I do turn on later in the video I do use the kind of ugly bathroom doors but they're the only bathroom doors that let the right sex into the right bathroom so I do just go with those and then I'm just messing around with the lights and I go with the pair not the pair lights the pedal lights that I don't know why I keep calling them pair lights because I'm like a weirdo <laughs> and then I'm just trying to figure out the back how I want to do the back so I just put in a glass window and obviously a glass window. I'm in a glass door. A glass door and a big window. <laughs> God forbid I can talk today. And then I put a piano in because I thought that'd be super cute if your sim just wants to like pay, play. <sighs> I really can't talk. If your sim wants to play piano while everyone drinks their coffee or if um, you want to listen to someone else play piano, whatever, floats your boat. And then right now I'm just trying to mess around with the counters. I tried to put a door in and I was going to like hide the door so like your the workers could just like come in the back, but it didn't really make that much sense. So I did just end up moving the counters forward, which took me a little while <laughs> to get the way I wanted. And I just put in two cash registers so you wouldn't really have to wait in line. <laughs> Cause that's super annoying and then I messed around with the counters more and I put in our fabulous trash can. <laughs> I love doing the coffee maker that's why I said that. Um yeah so now I put in the coffee makers and I actually put in three coffee makers so if your sim just gets tired waiting he can definitely just sneak in the back and make his own coffee. And I tried to put some flowers in, but it didn't really work. So I ended up just putting some knickknacks by the sink, like paper towels and soap. And then I go back to the front and I find these little, um, not that. <laughs> I find, where is it? These little wheatgrass things, because I know like some places definitely are obsessed with drinking wheatgrass smoothies and stuff. So I thought that'd be nice, like. I don't know, just having it there, it'd be cute. So right now I'm just looking for like any other little knickknack and I didn't really like anything in the middle and I dry, I dried. <laughs> I ended up try, um, putting by the bug in and I could not find anything to put in there, like you know, like little coffee things or anything. And the only coffee cups I have are from the Sims Resource. So I didn't want to put those in because I don't know how many people actually have those. And I just put a dumpster outside so I can use it later without having to look for it again and I find these cute little like today's special signs so I put two of those in front and then I do go to put one on the inside but I did not like the way that looks so I definitely did not go with that idea but I did put like a little air conditioning vent just to give it a little extra detail and I messed around with the coffee makers again and then I just decided to keep them how I had them <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I put in a rug and then I couldn't really decide how I wanted it or if I wanted it So I did get a nice color. I actually really liked the way that I had the rug turn out It just takes me a little bit, but there it is So I wasn't sure if I liked it in there though. I do like the rug. So I put it outside and then if I want to use it, I was just going to bring it back in. So right now I'm just trying to figure out what chairs go with those tables. Because I thought those were like the little like coffee house tables. And I uh, brightened the lights up a little bit. And I thought those chairs were white the whole game until I made the intestines. In oh, I, oh, I can't talk. <laughs> um, the intensity of the lights 
brighter so they are actually like a beige ish off white <laughs> anyway so i put tables in because i know a lot of coffee shops have places where you can do work and i did use move objects and kind of put the tables through the wall a little bit so it looks like they're kind of built into the wall and then messing around with lights which i didn't really like those i like the idea behind it but i didn't like how it came out so i just ah uh, i just didn't do that and then i put these little candles on the tables because that would be super cute and i tried those wall lights i didn't like it so i just put some like normal desk lights and some pen and pad set thingies <laughs> And then I just added some chairs and right now I'm trying to find what decor I want on the wall but I cannot find anything that I liked for that wall. So I just add in the chairs like I just said and then I end up just putting not that. <laughs> oh well I find the menu so I put those by the coffee maker so you know what kind of coffee you want and then I end up just putting in mirrors. <laughs> I thought it'd be super cute like because I know a lot of places have like the mirror wall so you can I don't know like watch yourself eat I guess it's kind of creepy but like I don't know it's like a thing at least in New York it's a thing so I end up messing around with the plants for the corner and I go with that cute little bamboo plant and I do add another table and another laptop this one's bright green <laughs> which I thought was super cute too <laughs> obviously everything's super cute um yeah, so I messed around with the tables a little bit more, and this I couldn't get, like, perfect where I just, like, was in love with it, so I don't know. If you put it in your game, you might want to, like, mess with the tables a little bit, but I think they turned out, like, decent, and I put my fear painting in, and then I actually get rid of it, which is super sad, and yeah, so I put the pink painting in, and I thought three of them just looked better, so... I went with that and I was trying to decide what to put on the wall. So I was doing plants and then I had the bottle thing which looked nice. And I was like, no, like let's put a book bookcase in. So I put that little bookcase in which is super nice in case you just want to like read while you're drinking coffee. And I put a little painting on top. And then this wall I just loaded with paintings. So I put a bunch and it looks really gross right now because I'm literally just laying... <laughs> layering paintings on top of each other just so I can have all the paintings with the frames that I like and then I kind of not really organize it but like kind of just like throw them on because I think that's super oh, I keep saying super cute it's annoying I think that's cute and then it gives it that like homey feeling so I just make all the frames black so they kind of match and then we're ready for the bathroom <laughs> So I just put some simple lights in the bathroom and I was going to do a colored floor and then a white wall but I was like oh I just did a white wall out there so it's going to be like so much repetition so I just go with a white floor and then those walls which I think are from Island Paradise and then I was like let me do a dark floor but I didn't like it so I went on like an off-white floor and then I just added some toilet bowl stalls <laughs> toilet bowl stalls uh bathroom stalls in and I added some urinals into the boys room and then I was messing around with the sinks and I picked the simple sink which I actually came with late night and I do it in both bathrooms and then I'm going to do like a little outside thing so you can bring your coffee outside and just like sit outside and talk with your friends so I just used terrain tools and I couldn't pick which one I wanted so I did just go with that one and then I add some tables in <laughs> if I ever get to that part <laughs> yeah so I add these tables in and I end up using the glass ones because I felt like if it rained or snowed like they'd take the least amount of damage so I just try to find the chairs that look like they would get the least amount of damage and I really like those chairs so this time I put like one table with four and one table with Oh, never mind, two tables with four. Just so it's like a little different than on the inside and I try to find the right plant. And I like that plant. I just hate how it has the pink thing on top. So I just go with like regular pink plant. And I put the speakers out there because I thought that'd be cool if you could listen to the music when you're outside. But they were totally not fitting and they were ugly. So I got rid of them and then I got rid of those ugly flowers. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. And then I tried the rug but I still didn't like it. So I just completely got rid of it. And then I worked on the outside, so I went back to the terrain tool and I kind of made a mini little um, parking lot. I didn't make it too big, I didn't want it to be like an obnoxious, like huge, like black area on the map. So I did just make it tiny, so you fit two cars. Um, and then I was going to put like a little fence and I decided like, oh no, I should make like a little like bush fence, I guess. So I used those bushes because I love those bushes. 
I use them in my Barbie dream house. The only things that I don't, not my Barbie dream house, my bachelorette pad. The only thing I don't like about them is that they go from like big to small. And then I make another little walkway with some flowers that are decent, I guess. <laughs> not in love with the flowers, but I guess I'm just not feeling flowers today. <laughs> and then I had to fix the roof again. But I fixed it. And then this is our coffee shop. If you download it on the exchange, it's called CJ's Coffee Shop. And the link is actually below. So this is just like another view. So you can see the subway, which I still think is such a cool aspect of it. And then this is just the inside with our million coffee machines. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is just our little artsy piano corner. And then over here, I put my mirrors on. So that's why it looks like there's like a million chairs. And I took another picture of the same area with my mirrors turned off because I know a lot of people run with it off, but some people run with it on. So I wanted to just have both looks just so you'd know. And then I kept them off for the rest of the pictures because that's usually how I run my game. So it'll run a little faster. And then we're going to run into the bathrooms and then the back porch. So... Yeah, so this is the girls' bathroom, and this is the boys' bathroom, which I totally actually love the color of that, and the tile looks. So this is our back porch, and this is actually the last slide. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.